Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will talk about what a confusion matrix is. Now, hold your horses. I know there's a lot of triangles and circles around the screen. Just hold that thought, I'll get back. What exactly is a confusion matrix? In simple terms, it is a simple method of evaluating a classification model. That's it, that's all you need to know. Now, uh, for this example I've taken here, this is a classification model of triangles. So basically, this model will classify whether a shape is a triangle or not. Simple as that. So in this scenario, we have uh, about, not about, exactly 20 shapes or objects. You can call it objects in technical terms. We have 20 objects, entities, anything. Now let's go ahead and create a blueprint of how the confusion matrix will look like. All right, so we have an actual no. Uh, we have an actual yes. We have a predicted no. And we have a predicted yes. Okay. Now let's assume that our classification model was run once and uh, this is what we coded it with, okay? For example, let's assume that our classification model predicted uh, this, 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 along with this, this, and this as triangles, all right? So we know this is a triangle and it predicted this as a triangle. We know this is a circle, but it predicted this as a triangle, which is not good, but it happens in huge data sets. So this is why we need a confusion matrix to evaluate the performance, okay? So let's give it a, a legend saying that this indicates that these are, tri uh, these are triangles. And uh, let's take in, Okay, let's take in white. Let's take this, 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 this as not triangles. All right, so it's a classification model. It's a binary classification, right? It's either yes or no. So we have yes for triangles or no for triangles. Okay. Now we need to start filling the values here. Just a second. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, just, okay. I'll give this some rotation so we can understand what goes where. Okay, now uh, let's move this here. Okay, our circle indicates that our classification predicted the images that are not triangles and are actually not triangles. So which is good, right? So predicted, predicted the images, predicted the images that are not triangles, that are not triangles, and are actually, and are actually not triangles. Which is good, right? Now let's go ahead and check for the square or vector. Like this, this is what I meant, okay? You know what this? Uh, and for this one, let's. Uh, it's uh, for this. It is the classification model predicted it is a triangle, but in actuality, it was not a triangle. So it predicted. a triangle but as a triangle but in reality it's not a triangle all right now our, our triangle here um 
our classification model predicted that a triangle predicted as the image not a triangle but in actuality it was a triangle so it predicted a shape is not a triangle but in actuality it is a triangle okay so listen to it one more time our model predicted the image as not a triangle but in actuality it is a triangle so predicted as no not a triangle not a triangle but it is a triangle but it it's a triangle all right now for the last just a second now for the last box to be filled so this it is the model predicted it was a triangle but in actuality it is a triangle so it predicted that it's a triangle and in reality it is a triangle so this is good right so predicted as a triangle and it is a triangle very good now that we know what goes where let's try to count the numbers and let's fill the values here so for the first one which is this let's say it predicted the images that are not triangles but are actually not triangles so circles we should look at the circles so it predicted not triangles but are actually not triangles so let's look at the white ones so we have one uh two uh three this is the problem three four five six six so we put in the number six here all right next one for our square predicted as triangles but in reality it is not a triangle it predicted as a triangle but in, it's not a triangle so according to this you're supposed to check the blue tick marks and look for the ones that are ticked in blue but are not triangles so we have one we have one here uh two here yeah so two is going to come here now for the triangle predicted as not a triangle but it is a triangle so white ones look at the white ones here and we have to look at the ones that are marked white but they are triangles so white triangles so you have one you have one you have two uh you have two and that's it so two is going to come here now for a diamond here it predicted as a triangle and it is a triangle so look at the blue check marks so we have one two three uh one two three four five six perfect six this is how you fill your uh a confusion matrix now the this bracket or this uh term is called as something important which is called as false positive and this term is called as true positive all right the remaining the uh, remaining two would be uh, true negative and uh, false negative wait false positive wait true negative and false negative all right that's not very important but it's usually these two that are, are very important now this is also the strength of the classification model and this you guess right is the weakness of the classification model all right uh so i think yeah this is it this is exactly what confusion matrix is and what it is used for in case you guys still have any other questions please feel free to drop it in the comment section and i will definitely get back uh and yeah please don't forget to subscribe and like the video have a nice day bye bye